weekend, Compton's airport opened its hangar doors for the Youth Expo and Fundraiser for Tomorrow's Aeronautical Museum. That program, by the way, launches kid on, kids on a flight path to success. And we are talking kids as young as seven learning how to fly. It's the focus of this week's Gina's People. Here's Gina Silva. Okay, we're looking pretty good. Get on the runway. Nine-year-old Ibrahim Khatib is flying high. After a lot of preparation, he's ready to take the control under the watch of a professional pilot. This is the yoke. This is the thing that controls the plane. For the last two years, this fourth grader has been coming to tomorrow's Aeronautical Museum in Compton to learn how to fly. It's a nonprofit after-school program for kids who want to take to the skies. What's your goal? My goal is to get my pilot's license at like the age of 12. When they succeed, I've succeeded. Robin Pedgrave is a pilot and the founder of Tomorrow's Aeronautical Museum in Compton. For the last 14 years, he's been changing the lives of hundreds of inner city kids. If you get them involved in aviation, then things just make sense. Like, why do you need to learn math? Well, if you're going to go on a two hour flight and you got an hour's worth of fuel, they realize why math is so important. And same thing with being able to read and things like that. If the kids don't have money for the flying lessons, it's okay, but they have to earn those lessons by working in the museum, either cleaning up or answering the phones. We do that incidental learning and disguise learning. They think they're just answering phones so they can go fly, but they're learning customer service skills, things that can give them a real job in the very near future. Yeah, I'm just gonna do a, so how did Ibrahim do on his first flight? It was really fun and felt like being in space because felt because you can see everything above the ground. Ibrahim's advice to other kids? Dream big and never give up. Stick to what your dreams no matter what happens. Wow, don't know who's more impressive, the child or the teacher there. Tomorrow's Aeronautical Museum works closely with the Compton Unified School District. Peck Ray, by the way, was recently nominated as one of the nation's most prominent African Americans by Ebony Magazine. And someday, as Christine knows all too well, he is I hoping do. that his program is going to go national. I was at that expo on Saturday. It was fantastic. The community turned out, and I met, ran into Kenny. A success story, got his license really? at 14. He now owns his own plane. Got his, well, and the, he got his license at 14 because you say he went to Canada yep. because in, in, here in the States you have to be 16. So that really shows initiative. But I love this, owns his own plane. I wish I did. Yep. All right.